del Sol Borincano. Come join us on an incredible adventure to experience this amazing island and one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Hello and welcome to Road Tales. Today we're visiting the beautiful small island of Culebra. It's a little rainy today, so we're hoping it'll clear up, but either way, we're going to visit a bunch of beautiful beaches and hopefully do some snorkeling. Our adventure starts in the town of Ceiba, where you will find the ferry terminal, which is used to travel to the islands of Vieques and Culebra. Today, we're visiting the island of Culebra, which is a one hour and 45 minute trip on the ferry. You can also fly to Culebra from the airport or charter private tours for beach exploring, snorkeling, and other fun adventures. The island municipality of Culebra is 17 miles east of the main island of Puerto Rico. This island is a nature lover's paradise, full of natural treasures. Popular activities include beach hopping, kayaking, scuba diving, and hiking. If you love snorkeling like us, Culebra is a must visit because it has some of the most remarkable coral reefs in the Caribbean and is one of the best places to snorkel with sea turtles. Here we are at Flamenco Beach often voted one of the top 10 beaches in the world. And it's a little rainy today, but you can see that it's still very beautiful. Playa Flamenco is often ranked as one of the top 10 beaches in the world. It is also rated a blue flag beach for cleanliness. White sand and turquoise waters make this an unforgettable place to relax with family and friends. Here you can enjoy swimming, snorkeling, wave hopping, or simply relaxing under the Caribbean sun. This beach stretches for a mile around the sheltered, horseshoe-shaped bay. Although our visit to Flamenco was not optimal, due to rain and tons of sargasso on the coast that affects the whole area in late July and August, we still had an unforgettable experience. One of the most distinctive landmarks on this beach is the two brightly painted old tanks that were left behind by the U.S. Navy after its departure from Flamenco Beach in 1975. Now we take a short drive to visit one of my favorite places to snorkel in all of Puerto Rico, Playa Tamarindo. Getting to Tamarindo is quite easy, just a five minute drive from Flamenco with breathtaking scenery on the way. There are a few ways of getting from point A to point B in Culebra, but the most popular one is club cars, small golf cart like vehicles that you can rent during your stay. Now we're here at Playa Tamarindo, which is one of my favorite beaches in all of Puerto Rico because it's a sure bet to see sea turtles here. You need to go in to the left there and there's a bunch of seagrass so you're going to see sea turtles and probably stingrays too. I love this place because it's very natural. It's a big nature preserve called um, Luis Peña Marine Preserve. And behind me you can see the island which is called Cayo Luis Peña. Tamarindo Beach is one of Culebra's most stunning beaches. With an amazing view of Cayo Luis Peña in the background, Tamarindo Beach is loved by locals and tourists for its calm waters and diverse marine life. During the spring and summer, visitors can easily have close encounters with beautiful sea turtles. You can also take a kayak tour to snorkel at the big coral reef away from the shore. Tamarindo certainly is a fascinating experience. Take note that Tamarindo Beach is a wilderness area and apart from a small parking lot, you won't find amenities, bathrooms, or stores that might disturb this natural area. Tamarindo Beach is a safe haven for turtles and other marine animals. If you do go snorkeling, please make sure not to get too close to the turtles because doing so might interfere with their eating or breathing. Also, never stand on corals. Let's keep this paradise in pristine condition. So we had a super fun time snorkeling here at Tamarindo Beach. There's a really beautiful little reef all the way over to that side, pretty close to the shore, where you can find some amazing corals of all different colors and shapes. We saw a lot of different fish that we've never seen before, so it was a great time. And now, we're gonna enjoy this beautiful island for a little bit more. 
Now we drive about 25 minutes from Camarindo to the east of the island to find another ruggedly gorgeous landscape, the Zoni Beach. Located on the northeast coast of Culebra, Zoni Beach is one of the most incredible places you can visit on the island. Beautiful blue waters and a breathtaking view of distant islands makes this beach a real Caribbean paradise. Now we're at Zoni Beach. This is a beautiful landscape with lovely little islands across the water and it's a dreamy place to take a long walk on the shore. Also, it's a really important nesting site for sea turtles. If you're looking for an escape, this beach is for you since you can really breathe the peace and quiet around here. Also, on a nice sunny day, you can enjoy views of the islands of St. Thomas and Tortola from a distance. You can even get a photo of the lighthouse at Culibrita if you have a zoom lens. There are no facilities at Zoni Beach, so be ready to bring what you need and also to take anything with you that doesn't belong on the beach when you leave. If you like long walks, this beach is for you since it has an ample coastline with white sand that stretches for miles of breathtaking views. Depending on the season and day, Zonia Beach's waves can be a little rough so you need to be careful going in the water. Also be careful with marine currents that could potentially pull you in deeper. This beach is best just for relaxing on the shore, getting away from the stress of the city, and admiring nature. Our adventure is almost over, but what an amazing day we had exploring one of the most incredible and beautiful islands in the world. Our last stop is Playa Melones, just minutes away from the ferry dock. Melones is a nice beach with a super relaxed vibe, the perfect place to finish our trip to this unique natural paradise. This beach might not be the best one for swimming due to its rockiness, but it's perfect for snorkeling, having a picnic, or just sitting down and admiring a beautiful sunset. To finish up our wonderful day in Culebra, we're at Melones Beach. This is a wonderful place to relax and have a picnic and hang out with your family. There's even a nice picnic table and a bunch of swings on the trees. Thank you so much for joining us today on our Culebra trip. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. As we wait for the ferry, we can't stop thinking. What other beauties and wonders are there for us to explore? What other amazing places will life take us? It surely is a blessing being able to witness firsthand the incredible natural treasures this island has to offer. And certainly we will cherish these memories forever. Before we go, we just wanted to show you this awesome sculpture by artist Thomas Dambo in the ferry dock. It's a troll and I think it's supposed to be like a guardian of Culebra. Go out, live, explore, and enjoy the gift of life. Don't forget to subscribe and see you on our next adventure.